Hi everyone. So in this video I just want to talk about what to do if you have a coat of underglaze, colored slip, on your pinch pot. So now you've come back to class and it's clearly dry. So now it's dry to the touch. I know I can add another coat. What I want to make sure is that I've got the watercolor brush again. Make sure you've got the same color. You don't want to cross contaminate colors in the class. And again, start with the inside. The second and third coat of the underglaze dries much faster. This could be a great time to make sure you've got some design ideas that you understand you might want to apply to the carving. Making sure to get all the dry spots so everything is obviously going to look glossy, shiny, because I'm adding this second coat. Do not let it run or drip if you get it, and which is happening to me now because I'm being sure to be heavy handed. I don't want to see streaky firings and unfortunately we can't tell that it's going to be streaky until it's fired with the clear on it. Then I can see that the student didn't add the three coats or maybe they forgot and didn't keep track. I showed you in the last video that to keep track make a little check mark on your paper so that you can remember because you might be doing designs, you might be creating something else in class and you need to come back to it. You don't want to forget where you were. It's okay if you do four coats, but two coats is not going to be enough to showcase your designs and your carvings. <clears throat> okay, so there's my second coat. I'm going to do another check here for my second coat and now I can put this off to the side and wait. When I am done with the third coat, after this is dry, I'm going to add a third coat, which goes exactly the same as I showed you for the second. I can pick it up by the tile and put it on the shelf if the class is ending for the day, or I can move it over so that I could work on something else while this dries.